hopefully everybody's do, doing good. It's a little chilly outside, but we're doing the review anyways. Let's grab the first bucket box and uh, get into it. So this is something I received actually some time ago. Uh, <clears throat> Giraffe Tools reached out to me and uh, they asked me if I wanted to try out their compressor. Not the compressor, their pressure washer. They have a pressure washer that has uh, uh, coiled hose. So it's like a reel. And I was like, you know, I already have a pressure washer. Do you have something else that you'd like to send me? And I was like, you know, I, I'm going to check out your store. And I found this stuff. So this is a hose reel and a cord reel. So basically what it is, it's you put it up on the wall next to your compressor. And then you don't have to, you know, unroll and whatnot. You just grab it. When you're done, it pulls itself back in. This one is going to be a hose reel. I will put out those Amazon links in the description. So let's get to cracking. Always keep this Milwaukee on hand. Thing is legit. Super bright too. Not bright, sharp. Let's pop it open. The other one I already opened. So uh, we're gonna get to the second one also, but I want to show you. So here we get what looks like to be hardware. I think these are so you can mount it on the wall, drill a hole, and then these will grab it right on. And then in here, you have a hose reel itself, which is pretty dang heavy. Doesn't seem like there's anything else in the box. So yeah, these are the uh, bolts to mount it to concrete, basically drill a hole. So basically like you just drill a hole and put these bolts in here and as the nuts give it uh, pressure back, if that makes sense, you'll just grab on. Pretty nice that they include this. That's a pretty nice quality too. Let's get this thing out of here. This thing is, seems like really, really solid quality. It's heavy. The crappy thing is I don't get to install it, so you don't get to see that, but uh, I will hopefully soon, by end of January, be moving into both of the garages there. So then I will be able to just install them on the wall and do an actual review of what this stuff actually looks like. But basically, this is your mounting plate. And uh, you would basically just slide that on there, essentially. And I see now why they include the nuts instead of the bolts. Because you want to drill the holes, as you can see and then your bolts would sit right here and then you would just slide the nuts on over here and then you could tighten that up but essentially one of these you would attach to your yeah so this you would attach to your compressor i guess and let that sit down and then this one here is the one that you would pull on and then it just ratchets that's the cap so nothing gets in there oh you actually attach it on the side there's a bolt right here on the side and this just runs down to a compressor and if you don't have enough obviously you got to buy a longer hose it's just i'm sure a quarter so it's right here on the side that's where you would attach it to the compressor and then this front hose is where you would actually pull it. Try and see how this stuff will go. So it locks up right there. That's a fail. Try to figure out. Oh, there you go. And then it reels it back in and then you just leave it hanging. That's cool. The hose seems like really good quality too. And all this housing is, is metal. It's not some cheap plastic. Like this, this thing has some weight to it. But yeah, if you do want to look it up yourself, it's Giraffe Tools. Well, they have them on Amazon. They have their own website and whatnot. Let's grab the uh, cord reel. 
to check that guy out. As I said, I already unboxed this guy, but it's basically the same thing. It comes with hardware, and this one comes with a swivel mount, so you can actually mount it and then swivel to left and right if you want. There it goes. So basically, you would mount it up right here on the wall. Well, this way. Just like this on the wall. And then right here, you would plug this into the wall. It's a nice heavy duty cable. And the nice thing is it lights up to let you know you actually have power. And then you have your power on off here. And then as you have it, there it stops, pull, goes back in. And the nice thing is it has actually three, three things on here, which is really cool. But yeah, this one has a plastic housing, obviously, because it's cables. I'm not sure what gauge cable this is. Uh, probably says it on here, 14. Yep, this is a 14 gauge cable, so this is definitely heavy duty. This would be nice almost to have on the truck when I'm plugging in my block heater, so I don't have to unwrap that cable all the time, but that's a little extra even for me. But uh, yeah, let's show you what this stuff looks like. I always keep this thing in my pocket. Yes, I'm reviewing this on back of my truck. And in case you're wondering, that Mazda right there, that's a Mazda B3000. 140,000 miles manual rear wheel drive 2000 for sale for 3,900 bucks. A little overpriced, but it's what I paid, unfortunately, and that's what I'm trying to get out of it. But, you know, let's close this. As you can see, this thing is metal. This is where you attach it and run that line to the compressor. And then this thing is plastic. Your extension cord reel. But yeah, shout out to Giraffe Tools. Definitely check them out. I'll have links in the description down below. Ask away with any questions. And uh, hopefully you like the video. A little bit off trucking, but again, truckers will use this stuff. So hopefully you found it helpful. And... Uh, Catch you on the next one. Stay safe, everyone.